Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Today we have another product that's going to be geared towards the hunting and long range shooters. Uh, anyone who likes having a rifle with a good cheek weld, this product's for you. Uh, this comes from Bradley Cheek Press, and I'm pretty much going to show you what comes with it, go over that, uh, adjustments, great aspects of it. So let's just dive in uh, with the product. Bradley Cheek Press, you get this burlap looking sack. Within, you get a business card, a cool sticker. A, what looks like a B on a key ring, but this is actually your adjustment tool for the cheek rest. I'll dig into that in a second. I believe these are directions that I did not use. Let's see, yeah. instructions that I did not look at. And then two extra Velcro pieces, which are very important for the adjustment of this cheek rest. So as I said, here's your adjustment tool. And on the sides, you're gonna have two screws uh, you could use a flathead as well, but not many people want to take a flathead screwdriver out to the field with them. If you do, you have it. If not, nice little piece of gear that's just going to be with you. It's nothing. It doesn't weigh anything. It doesn't matter. So you can use it to adjust it. We'll go over that in a second. But let's go over the details of this. So I have it on my Savage Hog Hunter right here. And when I first got this rifle, I was considering completely buying a new stock. Um, I hate this plastic stock, this synthetic plastic looking stock on it. Very flimsy. I can deal with it for now. Uh, my main issue was getting a cheek weld with my Vortex scope right here. Now, that poses an issue. If you've done long range shooting before, you know that you just want to have your good cheek weld there. You don't want to put any straight on your neck, keeping your head up in line with the scope to have a clear sight. Now, instead of buying a very expensive stock or chassis system that has an adjustable cheek uh, rest, you can get a better cheek weld or anything you need, you have this. And there's cheap options where you can duct tape foam to your gun. I've seen that many times. Uh, I've seen people just like put little pillows there or a shirt or something. I don't like that as much. Not as reliable. It's cheap, but it does work in a pinch. Uh, your stock, as I just mentioned, buying a whole new stock or chassis system, very expensive at times. Uh, I've seen some get up to $1,200. It's pretty expensive. Cheek Rest from Bradley Cheek Rest gives you that good cheek weld you need for hunting, shooting, whatever you're going to be doing. <laughs> A good medium price right there. So, let's get this in the picture. You can adjust it. Uh, this one I took back down. I had it one step higher to get my eye in line with the scope. But this thing is very rugged. I've been shooting with it for about a month now. I just want to put it through the ringer and see how well it works. Now, it's made of Kydex, and maybe you guys have holsters made of Kydex, and if you haven't heard of Kydex, it is a synthetic plastic-like material that is molded with heat, and it's very, very rugged. It is very difficult to break. Um, you may get microfractures on the end if you try hard enough, and you can scratch it up, of course, but it's not going anywhere, and I'm fairly certain that you will break your rifle before you break this thing, because Kydex is very, very strong. Now, let's talk about adjustments other than just those bolts really quick. How does it attach? Uh, through Velcro. And it's very hard to get off when it's been on there for a while. But it's all just Velcro adjustments, easy to get on, easy to get off. Uh, under this piece, I'll show you when I zoom in, uh, under the main piece is, I would like to call it like a foam kind of piece, and that's to inhibit the friction of when the recoil comes through, this rubbing up against your stock. Not a huge deal, but over time it can cause damage, of course. And it also just makes it adhere to whatever stock you have better. Now, this will fit on many different stocks. This is, as I said, on this hog hunter right here, just pretty standard. It's hard to uh, mention all the diverse stocks out there, but I have those on multiple rifles. It fits, it works, and it's easy to adjust. You have a lot of room. Here's some that are on it. You have a lot of room with these Velcro adjustments, and you can also make it a lot smaller. So maybe you do have a custom stock that's wooden or such, and you want to have a better cheek weld, but you don't want to get rid of that expensive stock. Here you go. Uh, there's many options to it, and Honestly, it is hard to beat. Uh, I don't want to pay for a very expensive stock. Uh, many people don't want to. Uh, even in competition shooting, I could see this working for long-range competitions. If you were just getting into it, you don't want to drop all that money. Uh, it is a great option. It will live up to the rugged hunter being out there in the wilderness. It will live up to the competitive shooter, the weekend warrior shooter, anyone who wants to do long-range. This is a good investment. And as I said, rugged, good investment instead of buying stock. What more can you want out of it? Um, and it'll fit many, many rifles. 
So it has its advantages. It's uh, very well priced for what it is. I love the Kydex material. That is not going to ever let you down. I can surely say that. Uh, so let's go into adjustment really quick. We'll get a close up for you so it makes more sense. All right, bringing you guys in a little bit closer here. Before I dig into this, I do want to show you I was a little bit far away in the beginning of the video. Here's the Velcro straps that come with it. Here are your directions. Feel free, if it'll focus, to pause the video and read that, but they're pretty self-explanatory. Your cool American, proud to be an American sticker with a little bit of profanity. Business card. Your tool. It's actually shaped in a V for Bradley Cheekrest. Pretty cool. Very lightweight. <laughs> and a bag that it all comes in. So getting that all out of the way here, you can see here are the screws. Now there are multiple levels here. Everyone's head is different. Everyone's made differently. And lots of rifles and the alignment with a scope is different. So you can see there are four levels. Right now mine is on that second level. Uh, if I wanted to make this higher, I could go to the first level. Well, I should be speaking backwards here. Second level to me, from the bottom, that is the third level. So second level right here would be there. So if I put it on this first one, that'll make it high up as it can go. Now I just was playing around with it. I've switched it multiple times now, trying to get a feel for it. But you can take your little B tool here and use the end of it, just like a flathead screwdriver, and loosen it up. So now, all four of those screws are out. Don't lose those. You can just take this off now. You can see it's just a shell. It just goes right over the actual rest here. And here are, it looks like washers that keep it spaced out to keep pressure off of this. So you get a little bit, I guess you wanna say wiggle room, and it's a tiny bit pliable. Um, as I said, if you guys have experience with Kydex, it has a little bit of uh, movement to it, but nothing that can inhibit problems. This is actually good if it gets hit pretty hard nothing will happen. So you can see here we have these and on the opposite side the same exact thing they're just little spacers. Uh, now if I want to make this higher let's say I want it on the real second one not gonna mess that up this time just position it and simply thread these with your hand first just to make sure you don't mess anything up. I do want to mention you guys should probably not try to torque these down really hard because that is where you get into stripping things and we really don't want that. This is metal on a plastic I don't know, body, I guess. And you really don't want to strip out these small uh, bolts here. Not good. It's either never going to come off them, or you're just going to have spinning bolts and it'll be very loose. Never a good idea. So I'm going to move on to the next side, and I'll be right back. We got this adjusted to show you how that works. There is much more of a gap there. We are now on the second row up from the bottom. And this gets your head in line, or your eye, sorry, in line with uh, the scope having a proper cheek weld. And as I said, everyone's head is different. Maybe you're out with your buddy. It may be a good idea to strap this on your bag or something. It weighs nothing. Uh, so it's good. You can teach shooters how to have adjustment there. You can learn what you like. Maybe you use this as a stepping stone to figure out what kind of cheek weld you like, what height you like, and then you switch over to an actual stock or chassis system that has your desired option. Next to mention is that with traditional stocks that have higher cheek welds like this, how are you possibly going to clean your rifle if you want to do it properly? You need to be, you don't want to take a cleaning uh, cleaning rag and go from the bore back here. Not a good idea. So what you do, so generally you take your bolt out, right? And you take a cleaning rod and just shove it all the way through there to clean. Now with traditional stocks, you can't do that uh, if you have a higher cheek weld here because where are you going to go? How are you going to get... If this is a solid piece of construction here, how are you gonna get your clean rod through there without having a weird obscure, uh, obscure angle? It's just not gonna work. This is removable, or I guess if you want, you just go through under here. But that is a nice option to have it, uh, a lot less hassle. Uh, let me put my bolt in before we mess something up. Maybe. There we go. So. And if you want to try out different scopes, this is another nice option that if you have a different kind of setup for a scope uh, and you put a different scope on there as a new trial for yourself, you don't have to buy a new stock to get that cheek well because every scope is going to be a different height uh, depending on your setup, how you mount it, etc. Now let's dig into how this actually goes on here. I know I just showed you how to adjust it because it's pretty self-explanatory on how to get it on there, but I need to make sure I cover that. So you have your Velcro. 
undo your Velcro. Uh, we'll do this in reverse, then put it right back on. Should be pretty self-explanatory. So that one's loose now. We have our next one, maybe. There we go. Very strong Velcro. Take this out of the loop. You can see these are both loose now. Let me take the sling off. Eh, should be okay. You can see this is going to pull back now, like so. I showed earlier, or I mentioned, here's that foam piece that sits under your cheek rest, your Riley cheek rest. This is very nice. Uh, it does keep that friction off of this uh, synthetic material, especially because the mold is right here. I feel like that would get worn out really quick. Uh, as I said, I don't like the stock, but I do want to keep it in good condition. So we put that on there first. You can see the inside of this molds directly to that. I'm actually going to put it on here. It makes it a little bit easier. Put it inside. Make sure you have it where you want it. Simply slip it over your stock. I know it's that difficult. And then when you find the desired position you want forward to back, let me scoot this over a little bit so you can see it. There we go. Well, that's better. As you can see, there's a gap right here. You adjust this back piece of Velcro if you want a little bit further back, a little bit further forward, give it some more slack. So that's where you adjust that. So that's where you get the slack out. And then you simply go up through here, maybe. And you pull that piece and you strap it down. Simply do the same thing back here. Let me get my sling out of the way. Simply do the same thing. You go under, up through. So that's a good thing. It takes a little bit of a movement to get through there, but it is very secure. This is not going to go anywhere, especially with your normal shooting. Um, I would like to mention it doesn't impact this at all. That is a soft Velcro. So if you have a recoil pad here, not going to affect it. It doesn't encompass this whole thing completely. All right, so you've seen installation, adjustment, and I've talked a little bit about it. Now, I do recommend this highly. It will not break the bank in comparison to what you could be doing with a chassis system or stock. Uh, it's weather resistant. It's going to last probably longer than you and your rifle. Um, even if you put this thing through some rough abuse, it's that Kydex material. I've had lots of experience with Kydex. Many others have too. So you know it's going to last. Uh, it doesn't really have any negative aspects. Uh, they do have plenty of colors, anything to match your rifle. I know this one is black, they probably have one to match this. Uh, contact the guys. I mean, they are a smaller business, but they have very good customer service. I've chatted with them on Instagram, uh, through some direct messages, talked to them on the phone, emails. They're eager to reach back with you. So, and I'm sure they want to hear the feedback. So, multiple colors, that's a great option. Uh, option of versatility with adjustments. Uh, maybe you're not the only one shooting the rifle, so you have the adjustments, you can uh, use it for many people is a great product. Now I do want to mention uh, one thing that's going to happen with any material that you put on here is you need to be wary of if you're out in the weather and it does get wet. Uh, they recommend it as well. Take this off, let it dry out a bit. It's not going to do anything to the Kydex uh, necessarily. Maybe could rust these bolts but they do have a coating on them. Uh, but just you don't want to have that water or any material really sitting under here on your stock for a long period of time. Uh, while this is chemical resistant, this is water resistant, uh, you don't know about whatever stock's going to be on there. Maybe it's a wooden stock. Chemicals don't do so well in some cheaper wooden stocks. Uh, so just be careful about that. Uh, it's not anything to do with this. It's just any application of whatever you put on stock is going to do that. Okay, now that I've shown you guys the products and I can get rid of the sticker, this is what we're going to do. This is my uh, Condition 1 case, or Condition 1 cases rifle case. Uh, usually this is what the... Uh, Savage Hawk Hunter I just showed you with the cheek rest goes in, or uh, many of my other rifles. Oh, this is a hard decision. But now we're gonna wrap some Bradley cheek rest swag here. Love going to the range and showing off these stickers too, because people ask about them. That's what's important. So now we'll be seeing that at the range more. Looks pretty sweet on there. So go check them out. I highly recommend it. It helped me with my long range shooting. I haven't been into the aspect of long-range shooting for the longest period of time, but as I got into it, I noticed this dramatically helped, uh, especially getting your line of sight 
perfect with that scope. So highly recommended, go check them out. I will link them in the description below. We've been posting about them on Instagram for a while. So make sure to go look at those content pictures. Uh, there's some short videos on there. I'm gonna put some short videos intertwined through this video that you've probably seen already. So make sure to check them out. Hit that subscribe button, like the video, share, and check out um, our other social media outlets. And we can keep showing cool products like this and help all of you find what you like.